Hey guys, what's up? You're with Kurt here, Kazana Crazy, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own YouTube banner with Photoshop CS5. Uh, so, basically, what you want is this. It's got to be, you're going to have from here to here, that's going to be a tablet version, because it's going to be from there to there. Uh, a mobile version would just be from there to there. And desktop, obviously, as you can see here, is from there to there. And uh, what I have here is just a bunch of games set up with um, neon lines going past it. But uh, anyway, let's get started. So first, what you want is the PSD for the uh, Photoshop file which holds the banners template. I will be leaving a link to download it and that you can just go ahead and get that. First up, you've got to get your Photoshop up and running, which will take me a while, because um, I've got too much add-ons. But uh, basically, what, what you're going to want to start off with is a nice background layer, and that you can either have it black, so you can have effects on all the pictures that you want to have with it, and so on. So uh, what I've done with for one of my friends here, if this just loads up quickly. Here, the guy wanted some anime uh, involved in the background. So I, his two channels that he wanted to represent was Anime HD Evolution Anime HD Episodes, which uh, I I was fine to do that. Uh, the renders that he gave me of the people had a slight glow over the, around the edge, so I decided, well that's just going to look odd, isn't it? I mean, if there's no glow behind them, then that's just going to look a bit sketchy. So we had, I put in, uh, I selected the outside of the character, and then I put a white glow around him. But anyway, enough of me. Let's get on with your one. So what we're going to want to start off with is background layer. So you could either have certain pictures that you got from uh, GFX packs or you can just uh, go ahead and have a gradient or a normal colour. So for me, I, I'll probably have, if I go, oops, I got too many GFX packs, there you go. Uh, if we go into space, these are very good points. Um, we'll go for this one. If I put this in here, and because, as you can see, this here is going to be running all the way through the middle of the template. See, they're not going to be seeing these top parts here. Or here. That's because it only registers the middle part here. So what you're going to want to do is control select on the picture and then control shift I. That selects the outside of that square and then you press delete. Oh, you need to convert that to a rasterizer. And now press delete and that should just disappear like that. Press Ctrl D and that will deselect everything else. Okay, once you've got all that done, you're going to want to start making your text. Uh, I'm not going to be including pictures as that would probably take too long for the tutorial. But um, what, what I'm going to do is try and show you how to make text look uh, a bit cool. So once my text uh, generator is up and running, I'll do that. Okay, so here I have it at 19. The least you want it is around about 100 for it to have a good, nice uh, pixelated size. Pixelated? Really? Did I say that? Oh. Okay, so after you've written your text like uh, Kazama Crazy, uh, you, you can decide on what font you want. I mean, I wouldn't suggest having uh, just going with the font that it automatically picks for you. Pick out a nice 
big font that would look good in anything or what would fit in with your background. Uh, I do quite like him. Uh, American Captain. Uh, so if we go to Edit and Free Transform, we can just pull this down. And at these two cross lines here, they'll uh, send to your they'll send to your text as you put it there. So now we have that. You can now add your effects. See, you can add in these effects by yourself, custom. We can go to styles, and if you have some already made styles, you can go ahead and press that, and it'll turn into that. What I don't really want to do, I don't, I don't really want to make it look crammed like that, so I'm just going to put it there, like that, with the blue neon on the outside. So after I've got that, I'm going to want to represent some of my, uh, my links, like Facebook maybe, or Twitter. Or you can just have the simple the simple YouTube logo. So if I go to my network icons, black logos, you can find these anywhere really. These are just silhouettes. So if you search up a Facebook silhouette logo, you'll probably come up with that, or a Twitter silhouette logo, you'll come up with that. And there's other Twitter logo. There, there's tons that you can just get if you type in the name of silhouette. <coughs> So anyway, these are all renders, so all of the white is just nothing. So I, I think I'm just going to add in YouTube for now. Make it all simple. Don't want to make this too long. Okay, so if we center this, with this dot you can tell where the center of the picture is. Put that there. Enter. I'll have it around about there. So once you dot hook, got that. You can put some styles on it. Because I don't want to make this last too long, I'll just put these on it. Stroke seems a bit big. If you have the same style as this, I would suggest putting the stroke down a bit. I mean, it, it is a very nice style with the massive 10 size stroke. But uh, if you want to do a smaller image, I would suggest putting it down to 3 or something. But anyway, now we have that done, we uh, I'll show you my blue flare, which will be quite interesting. It's right here. So, just grab that, pop that in there. Okay. So here, this is basically my flare. As you can see, this blue line, you, you can't really get much from that, can you? So, what we're going to want to do is, if I just drag that over here, on the halfway line, which is perfect. Okay, now we have that. Press Ctrl J, that will automatically copy it and paste it. Uh, go to Edit, Transform and then flip horizontal. This is only for the people that want this kind of flare. There we go. Once you have those two lined up, just uh, control, click, because you've already got that selected, it'll also select that when you hold control and click that. So now you want to right click and merge layers. Now you have that made. It's quite... Uh, how can I say this? It's dim. So if you want to brighten it up a bit, just keep on copying it like that. And if you hold shift and click on the one down there, it will select all four near it. Now merge the layers. And if you put that behind, because I'm crazy. Or you could have it between... Actually, it would probably be better having it in front of both. And then if you move this down, there you go, there you have it. 
So it's not completely perfect, you can see the shadow around here, but you can find many of these uh, blue flares. If you just search up a blue flare, then you'll easily find it. Um, well that's everything really. Well, the file size for a background now is it's nothing. It's, it doesn't have to be limited anymore. So you can just have it as PNG, you don't have to go on JPEG and measure out the size of the file to make it less quality. So now I have this, I can just go ahead, rename it, save it, and that will probably take a while. But uh, yeah, that's basically everything to do with the background. As you can see here, it has tablet above it, here and here. So as I explained before, this is the size that a tablet would see it, such as uh, an iPad maybe. Or there's desktop, the people that just go on YouTube and your channel. Um, with their laptop or computer, they'll see the whole thing. So uh, don't forget to add in some like little special things in there, so other people can see it. And then mobile, they can only see this little square here. So try and limit your um, advertisements like Facebook and Twitter. Try and keep them in here so they can actually see them. Uh, that's basically all the advice that I have right now. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. Really hope you enjoyed the tutorial.